Hello, clickers. My name is Maria Shandorova, and I am responsible for product development at Infinity. In the last Tech Tuesday video, we went through form specific, one of three types of front end visualizations you have within forms. The newest one, but already very popular, is forms comment, or also known as objects commenting. Obviously, it enables you to share your comments, insights, and uh, selections with other people within your team. And in this video, I will show you how it works. We have here this nice, colorful dashboard about HR data. It contains information about employees, their salaries, teams, job titles, and so on. It could be suspicious we don't have any developer in America, so I will select it. And now I want to share it with my colleagues. So what can I do? I can export it and send it via email, but I really don't want to share sensitive information about our employees via email. So I have a better idea. You can find all three types of forms front end visualizations in extension section. So I will drag and drop forms commenting and as you can see, there is nothing. And the reason is very simple. There is no reason end users should comment objects like this filter or variable input extension. So we give you a possibility to choose which objects should be commented. Let's say I want to choose details table and also the world map employees by city. And now on these two objects, there is a new fancy icon that opens forms objects commenting. And since I want my colleagues to know what I'm talking about, I can also capture my selections and send it all together to the thread. And once my colleague opened this dashboard, he will see that there is a new message from user infinity and that it was edited on this day. He can read it, apply selections, think about it, and also answer me. And also change his mind. You can also choose whether this information about the last comment should be shown or should be hidden. And it's also done in properties panel. It could be more compact. Then. And what is very interesting and also unique from a technical point of view is that all of this information, all of this data are stored directly on your server. Nothing was sent to cloud. You can save this data to XML files on your server or save it to a database, but you have it under your control. In this case, I save it to XML file. And let's imagine the possibilities of analytics when you load this data back to ClickSense. In the next video, I will explain what is Forms Instance ID. And believe me, it's really important. Thank you for watching the video and enjoy Forms.